Hi, this is Tony Wade, the Compassionate Investor. And as you know, we're talking transitional housing. And I'm excited to have with me today, William White. Now, William White is so special because, how old are you, William? 18. He's 18 years old. Now, y'all who know me know I talk about 18-year-olds. If I were 18 years old again, what would I do? Well, look, I have William White who is here interning with me. He's actually doing some stuff with his brother with the camera, but he's so creative, he's so eager, he's excited, and he's with me every day getting the opportunity to hear what I talk about. So I'm excited to have him here today, first of all. And I want you to get relaxed because you're going to ask me some candid questions and I might ask you some. Is that all right? All right. All right, sounds good. So first of all, you have a question for me yet first? Uh... How do you get into like houses like this, like to build them up, you know, the process of how you know what needs fixed and what not needs fixed? That's that. a good question. Cause someone who's new in real estate, you're sort of like, I don't really know how to get into it. And that was a good question to ask. Now getting into a house like this, cause it's big and it sometimes can be scary. Yeah. Cause you're looking at it and you're looking at all the stuff that you have to do. and as you walked through it and saw everything, did it seem a little overwhelming to you a bit? Uh, no, no. Yeah, yeah it was. Yeah, okay, yeah. so because it's overwhelming, and when you get into this, the first thing you have to do is make sure the numbers are right. Don't let what you see change anything else. Now, yeah, get excited if you like it. If you can look at it and look beyond the, like the junk, because in here, it was just a bunch of junk. But for the most part, it's a solid property. You saw floors that look good. Did the floors look good to you? Oh, uh, yeah. It okay. was we, amazing. Yeah, we just had to paint a little bit. We had to um, maybe make the... Uh, it's really pretty simple. It's all cosmetic. Right. The kitchens looked good. The bathrooms looked good. Right. When you can go into a property and those things are minimal, that's a thumbs up. So you want to make sure that you're getting into a property where it's minimal, minimal cosmetic changes. So less is best. Oh, I just made a little term. I like that. Okay, so that's how you sort of get into it. Now, first going into it, knowing your numbers, but then walking through it and making sure it looks like what you need it to look like and cosmetically you think you can do it. Right. Now, I'll also say you never want to walk in green. What do you know what I say when I say green? No. Green means you don't know you, you don't know nothing about nothing and you're just walking through it. So right. you take people with you that you know. So you have me by your side <laughs> walking with you through the property. You're going to have a guy like Brian, who's a construction person, who can walk through a property and talk to you. And I'm going to tell you what all the problems are. Exactly. Because you don't know. You're green. Right. Okay, that's why they say you're green. All right. So until you can get to where you're no longer green, that's when, you know, you get a little expert in you. You know, and, I, and I'm going to say... I've been doing this for 12 years. I still know some stuff, but sometimes I don't, I don't profess to know everything. That's why I let the experts be the experts. I don't do construction. I don't fix toilets. I don't even touch toilets unless I have to use it. But um, yeah, I let somebody else handle that for me. So very good question, because that's how you would have to approach it. And I'm just gonna promise you, I'm gonna make you a promise right here on recording. Because because he's 18, he's my, I am his mentor. He's interning with me. So in his first property, who you think will go with him? Me. So I promise you, when you get your first property, it will be very soon. Right. We got to get you some capital first or get you some business credit lined up so you can get some money. Right. Once we get that for you, you can then, I'll walk through, we'll find a property together, one that looks good, the return on that investment looks good, and then we can get you into your first property. Right. So that's my promise to you, as long as you stay by my side as my intern. Is that a deal? Deal. Yeah. Okay, that's a deal. One last question, and then we're going to close it up. And I think I'm going to ask you a question instead. Okay. So, as you think about being, because 18 is probably the best time in your life to be able to do whatever it is that you want to do. You had mentioned yeah. real estate. So, like, what is it that you see for yourself in the next five years? If you had the perfect world, what would you see for yourself right now? I see myself being kind of, like, in a better place, just trying to better myself, you know, hanging out with better friends, everything, you know. Having new people around you that, you know, got stuff going on for themselves instead of having people that's not doing anything for themselves. You just gotta switch up, hang around the right people, and then keep it moving. I could have said it better myself. At 18, 
hanging around with the best, the right people. And he's doing that right now, 18 years old, hanging out with his brother first, who's teaching him, showing him business, teaching him how to be like hard at grinding for whatever it is that you want. And then finding mentors like myself, who he can work with and learn things from. This is the, I mean, and guess what? I'm gonna say this too. For those of you, because I understand money's important. I'm, I don't wanna ever make it sound like money is not important. But when you can gain some knowledge from somebody that's gonna help you get to the next level, that is called priceless. Because those of you who will see, I'm a consultant. I charge a lot for my fees. This young man is getting the opportunity to get all of my knowledge for free because he's interning with me. And yes, we're going to talk about money because I would never want him to feel like he was not appreciated. But he's getting the most out of this relationship. I'm going to get something, he's going to get something. But he's getting the most. And it means something to me that I'm going to help transform his life so that he can truly go at it and transform the world. So thank you, William, for one interning with me, being with me today. Yes. And we'll be back after these messages. Yes.